What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and today we are taking a look at all the new cards. So we're going to start with the player of the week cards because I know a lot of you like those. We will have reviews and breakdowns for the edged crossing showtime, the Japan uh, selection and also for this brand new one called Perfect Introduction European Showdown which are available for nominating contracts. So we'll have a look at all these in just a bit. There's some nice players in there lads, there's some lovely players that you will be able to use there definitely if you've got a four or five star uh, nominating contract lying around. Of course you get your free one with the uh, match pass as well, we'll do a video on that. But for now we are going to do a quick run through of the Worldwide Player of the Week. So you can see Benzema, Kiesa and Hamsic are the, the main guys there. Um, but yeah, look, these player of the weeks, lads, I think now are at a stage where it it's all dependent on how long you've been playing the game, right? Because for me, I would say, you know, Kiesa, uh, Rafael Leao is there as an attacking midfielder, um, Benzema, I would also probably say Sergio Ramos is a good option as well. Um, but to go through them fairly quickly, um, if you are a newcomer and you're trying the game for the first time, these players don't need any training. So you literally just get their max rating as they are here. And they also usually have an A rating because they're informed players, okay? So this guy's just your standard goalkeeper, nothing to get too excited about. 85 reflexes. He doesn't have any um, massively like huge stats, but he does have low punt and long throw, um, which I do quite like. But he's just your average goalkeeper if you spin for him. Unlucky. Luis Alberto, one of my favorite hidden gems in the game. Look at those stats, lads. 90 for ball control dribbling, 93 for low pass and lofted. And of course, we have 70 for acceleration, which... You know, you're going to be sitting him in the pocket, really. One touch pass, double touch, true pass, and way to pass outside Carter and unwavering form. Very, very solid player for Lazio. The Spanish man is a bit of a beast in this game, so I do really like him as an AMF. I wouldn't play him anywhere else because he has no defensive uh, capabilities whatsoever, apart from having, um, you know, the, uh, the way of being able to play center midfielder. He can play as SS as well. So if you do shoot a lot, um, you might want to play him as an SS. We also have Hamsic. I remember this guy, lads. He was one of my favorite players in PES 20... I'm going to say 2015 in MLO or PES... Yeah, I think it was F PES 15. Um, he was a monster, man. He was so good. And again, he's very like Luis Alberto. I'd be playing him as an AMF and an AMF only. He does have some nice uh, player skills. What's interesting about this guy, lads, is he does have blocker as a player skill, which is quite interesting because he's got no defensive capabilities, including, you know, 69 uh, aggression um, is quite low. So that is an interesting selection there for him to have that player skill. We've also got Gabri Vega or Vega. Um, this guy's a deep line forward. One touch pass, and of course he has got standard form there as well. He doesn't have a face either that might put off a few people. 90 finishing, 75 acceleration, but the big thing for me, lads, there is his lack of balance and his lack of tight possession, which is a bit of a bust for him. We've also got a Sergio Ramos. The extra front man is his play style, and he looks like an absolute boss there, as he usually does. He has everything you could possibly want in a centre back except pace, and he doesn't have blocker as a play style or as a player skill, but 90 aggression will more than make up for that, especially the fact that, you know, acceleration isn't a massive stat if you are playing certain formations. So um, this guy can play out from the back a little bit, and of course, he's going to be aggressive. We also have Alderweireld. This guy, Alderweireld, Alderweireld. I can't pronounce his name sometimes, lads, or most of the time. He's got blocker, interception, acrobatic clearance, sliding tackle, long range shooting, rising shot heading, unwavering form. He is very slow. So again, you've got another slow center back with really good defensive stats. And then we move on to Zaniola. This guy is an absolute beast. Zaniolo, I should say. Uh, my pronunciations are all over the place today, lads. I'm, I'm hyper. One touch pass, perfect hole player. Um, I would play him AMF because even though he does have a bit of speed and pace, I think his stats inside are just more tricky to be able to finish and stuff like that. Unless you're going to cut in from the right wing with him, I do think that this guy's main position should be as an AMF hole player as part of a 3-5-2 or a 4-3-3 with an advanced AMF. He is very, very decent. Coop Miners, this guy is a 94 creative midfielder. Um, he does have unwavering, he does have one touch pass, weighted pass outside curler and fighting spirit, another attacking midfielder with a lack of acceleration and pace, but makes up for it with excellent on the ball dribbling and passing, and he can shoot as well, you can see a team here running with all of these players, and then we have the two picks of them lads, which are, pro are the three picks of them, we have Kiesa here, he's on A rating, he still retains that super sub and track back player skills, but he has double touch, he's got a load of player skills that are really good, 
unwavering form. Probably just shouldn't be an unwavering form, but he is he is a fantastic player, lads, um, when he's injury free. Brilliant acceleration, brilliant dribbling, brilliant balance and finishing for a player that plays as a centre forward. This is a very unique and interesting card. So I definitely think you should check him out. I mean, when you are looking at these player of the weeks, lads, I genuinely think they should be the best versions of themselves, man. That's the way it should be, or else they shouldn't get a player of the week. You know, even if you have to comb through certain different um comb through certain different leagues and you know uh teams i i feel like that kiesa as a center forward i'm probably going to end up playing him as a right winger because he has that dribbling that will go to 90 acceleration is over 90 balance for a dribbler is fine at 80 because you get the boost with the a rating and the unwavering form but just keep that in mind when you are looking at players like this and especially that goes as well for the likes of luis alberto right this guy most of the time in my god squad he's not going to make my team but because he's on a rating and because he's got like some really nice stats and play style and player skills he might slot in when somebody else is 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 not up you know um that's not up for the match so that's just something to keep in mind there's some really good players there and i think he is a fantastic option to have especially as a super sub probably him and Haaland are the two best super subs in the game that are non-legends or non-epics and then we have benzema and leao right so leao is uh or benzema is going to be your traditional center forward deep line he's got 90 finish and 90 offensive awareness 84 kick and power 75 speed and acceleration and 85 heading um he doesn't have one touch pass so you will probably uh lack that a little bit and as for a 97 rated center forward to me he doesn't look like a 97 rated forward here i think he genuinely should have had 80 acceleration just to make him a little bit more viable or else have 95 offensive awareness or 95 finishing to make him godlike um up front especially because he's that little bit slower than usual and then one of the best players in the game rafael leao this guy's showtime big time card is probably one of the best cards in the game lads he has got super sub as well so i would put him in that list with kiesa and of course um a couple of other super subs that are non-epic versions of the card um that come in here now this guy is down as a whole player so he reminds me of eze that they released a couple of months ago, a couple of weeks ago um the attack midfielder whole player eze um he is a fantastic option to have especially off the bench if you're able to bring on five subs now that are all super sub and you're like you know two one down or three two up or whatever you will just get a really good boost and fresh legs to come in especially when they have the super sub player skill and it's very important to have it on these player of the weeks because you can't give additional skills double touch um he doesn't have one touch pass that's not a massive concern if you're going to be playing him in the amf role um because you're going to be just doing a lot of run and gun with him i wouldn't be passing too much with him i'm just going to be shooting and i'm also going to be just dragging the ball in manually um you know a little one twos and then pop off the shoulder of the defender and pop in for a shot so blister and pace as usual so that is it lads for me with the player of the weeks we will have the rest of the videos up quite soon hope to see you guys in the stream until then peace